my beloved brothers and sisters, it's very important for us to constantly improve our relationship with Allah in a way that each day is better than the previous day, such that when we meet with Allah, we would be on our best days, having done the best deeds. May Allah Almighty grant us all the best possible death. Ameen. My brothers and sisters, time is ticking away. We know that according to the Gregorian calendar, today is supposed to be the last day of the year. And as much as we adopt the Hijri calendar, it's important for us to note that time is still ticking. People say, what are your New Year resolutions? I tell you as a Muslim, we should be having daily resolutions. On a daily basis, I should be taking account of myself. Umar ibn al-Khattab used to say, Hasibu anfusakum qabla an tuhasabu. Take account of your deeds before they are taken account of for you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So before I arrive on the day of judgment, wherein I will have to meet with Allah and answer to Allah and communicate directly with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I need to take stock of my deeds. Just like in any business, we would need to take account, we would need to add the figures, see the profit and loss, try and make amends, and we need to fill in the forms for the tax man, to say the least. When it comes to our deeds, they operate on a similar level, yet far greater, far more important. But unfortunately, we need a reminder from time to time or we tend to forget. So bear in mind that Allah Almighty, through His infinite mercy, has dictated that on the day of judgment, your deeds and mine shall be placed on the scales of justice. وَنَضَعُ الْمَوَازِينَ الْقِسْطَ لِيَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ فَلَا تُظْلَمُ نَفْسٌ شَيْئًا On this day of judgment, Allah says, we place the scales of justice on this day of judgment. And none is oppressed. No one is oppressed. You are not oppressed and the others are not wronged. Whoever has done something wrong will pay for the wrong unless the mercy of Allah decides to wipe it off and forgive it. May Allah grant us forgiveness. And if we have wronged someone, we will pay for it. If someone has wronged us, they will pay for it. When it comes to the rights of Allah Almighty, if you have sinned in a manner that it's between you and Allah, the chances are great that Allah will forgive you for as long as you worshipped Him alone. But if you've wronged a fellow human being, it's far more serious because human beings are not the most merciful, the most kind. Those qualities belong to Allah. If I ask you, please forgive me, it depends what I've done to you. You may choose not to because you are not the most merciful, the most forgiving. Although it's highly recommended to forgive, it's highly recommended to overlook the shortcomings of one another so that Allah has mercy on you and I. But remember, the mercy of Allah is far beyond any mercy than that even a mother can have for her own child. May Allah have mercy upon us. That having been said, all of us have done deeds at times that we're not too proud of. We could have done better. Some of these deeds are sinful, minor sin, and in some cases, major sin. Taking stock of our deeds would entail that we seek the forgiveness of Allah on a daily basis. Look at the example of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When he sought the forgiveness of Allah without needing that forgiveness, on a daily basis, how is it that we who claim to be his followers can pass day after day and weeks and months without really seeking the forgiveness of Allah? I call on you, my brothers and sisters, seek the forgiveness of Allah. On a daily basis, 
أستغفر الله من كل ذنب وأتوب إليه. I seek the forgiveness of Allah from all sin and I and I return to Him in obedience.